I've created three large shapes so you can see how I will link them. I start by right clicking on any one of the shapes and then choosing the edit option. The arrows are actually only around one of the shapes right now. I'm holding down shift on the keyboard and I'm clicking the other shapes that I want to include. And you may not be able to see this too well, but there is a yellow um, border that now comes around all the shapes that I've included. As I was doing that, the edit menu opened, and I'll pull it over, and you may have noticed that I have three objects selected as it tells me here. I can now choose to link them by clicking link. Now, if I move the directional arrows, you see they all move together. Once you've linked objects, if they're something that you want to keep, be sure you click into the General tab and give it a name. And I'm just going to call this my Crazy Shapes because this is not something important to me. But you would want to create good names because as you develop a lot more objects, you want to be sure that you can remember what that particular shape was about. Now they're linked, and I will close this menu right now. And notice now when I right click on it and go to edit, they do truly move together. And when I hit control, I can circle them around. And, oops, I can circle them in a couple of dimensions. An important feature though is to right click on any object. And you'll notice that in this case, I can either take it or I can take a copy of it. Because I'm on a sandbox, anything I leave will here will disappear in several hours. So I'm going to take a copy of this, which means that I leave the original here, which would disappear automatically, but it's been put into my inventory. Let's double check my inventory. Now I have many objects, so I'm simply going to look at my recent objects and click under Object, and sure enough, here's my crazy shape. Creating, linking, naming, and saving many different shapes is going to be the basis of how you're going to create your own inventory of objects that you can use.